Good morning, my friends. I hope you are doing well. Getting myself all oiled up, starting with a little bit of peppermint, because you know peppermint just is my one. It helps with energy, it helps with your focus, it helps you to remember the things. I also have my clarity and abundance going in my diffuser. Um, one of the cool things about the way our memory works is if like when you're studying you use one essential oil and then you have that aroma again when you need to recall the information it helps to bring it to your mind i know that sounds crazy but it's one of those things and clarity is one that i use to help me with that i also am putting on some grapefruit because i am grapefruiting all over you guys know that the lymph challenge is coming up and i have been working oh my gosh i'm so excited um since january 1st ish uh, I weighed in and I was 358.4 and today I weighed in at 305 you guys that is over 50 pounds that I have released since January so January February March April that is ginormous I you 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 don't even know how excited I am to see that I am five pounds away from being in the 200s and I know for some of you you're like I'm still a fatty listen to me, this is huge. I have been working and trying to release weight for years doing all the things. And it has just been so exciting seeing these massive changes that have been happening um, just this last four, is that five months? January, February, March, April. We're going into May. That's... I, I am over the moon excited. So I know some of the things that I've been doing that are a little bit different that I think have really um, been a catalyst for me. So I'm gonna share those um, this week. I'm gonna suck it up and go on and share because it's always nerve wracking because you know sometimes people can be kind of mean. So anyways, that grapefruit is one of my pals that I've been using. So I'm excited about that, but today that is not what the conference, what the call is about. Today we are doing our enzyme series. This is week two. Last week we did all about detoxime and what it does for you. And if you need a, uh, a basic on enzymes and what they do and why we need them, go listen to the detoxime one. You can find that in my Shannon Hudson feed. You can also find it on my website, shannonhudsonyl.com. Go under wellness videos and detoxime is in there. It gives a real overview of why we need enzymes and why Young Livings are so different. So I'm not gonna go deep into that today, but um, oh good, I see people, yay! <laughs> we did this last week and I wasn't on. I did the entire video and I wasn't on. So thank you guys, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm over the hills excited. Thank you for the congratulations and I cannot wait to see what happens in you guys. When I hit under that 300, you don't even know. When I step on that thing and it says two, it can be 299.9, you're going to hear me scream wherever you are. So I'm so excited. But anyways, um, so you can go check out that one there. So I'm not going to go deep. Um, I do want to talk just basic. This is Essential Sign 4 that we are going to dig into really deep. This one is going to aid in the digestion of all of the different types. So it's getting your carbs, it's getting your fats, it's getting your proteins, all the things. It's infused with ginger and fennel and tarragon and, and anine. I started to call it anus again. And it's essential oil. It is amazing. But something that makes these ones really unique are Essential Sign 4 our special time released capsule. This is super important. So the plant-based enzymes are designed to release immediately upon going in your stomach. So they are quick acting and that's the environment that's conductive to digesting all of that amazing plant matter. And then uh, the animal-based ones are designed to release in the low in lower intestines in your colon. Again, that's just a better spot to digest those animal fats and those proteins and suck out the last of the nutrients that are in there. And the combination is really giving us this massive amount out of absorption of all of the nutrients that sometimes we miss because the, they're breaking down in two different places. So that combination is really important. And before we really dig into all of the stuff that's inside them, I'm going to give you a tiny refresher on enzymes. So every action that happens in your body, every single action, an enzyme is responsible for that action. Like even the liquid in our eyes, the blinking, it's an enzyme. The, the heart, it's an enzyme. Like if you have a heart attack, it's they check your cardiac enzymes to see if they're elevated, then they know, oh, something's wrong. Because enzymes just have a role in everything. Everything that's alive 
has enzymes, utilizes enzymes, and enzymes um, turn things on, turn things off. Um, they recreate themselves, so they will have a bond that separates, then they remake as something else. Like Enzymes are amazing, but it takes a specific type of enzyme to break down specific types of nutrients. So if you've got, um, if you're eating a fatty thing, so you're eating, I can't think of anything fatty, an avocado, right? So you're eating an avocado, you have to have lipase to get all those fatty acids out of the avocado. Otherwise, you just have fatty stool that floats. So in order to digest and pull the nutrients out of the food, because the nutrients are literally encapsulated, and that encapsulation saves those nutrients for the plant so that the plant can survive, so the plant can repair itself. And what the enzymes, digestive enzymes specifically do, um, they allow our body to break those apart so that we can get the nutrients out of them. So there's three basic types of enzymes. There's metabolic enzymes, and those are pretty much produced by your body. That is gives us our energy and our metabolism and, and all those things I said, the heart beating, the lungs functioning, all of the things, that's me meta met metabolic enzymes. And then you have um, food enzymes. Those are the enzymes that we're going to be talking about today. These are food enzymes that come from the foods that we consume or from a supplement. So lots of things have enzymes in them. Pretty much anything that we eat, especially if it's raw, comes with its own enzymes to digest it. An apple has the enzymes to digest an apple. An avocado has enzymes to digest um, an avocado. It has some extra enzymes, but that's kind of how it works. All the berries, all of those great greens that we eat, they get enzymes to digest themselves but as the food is picked and as the food is processed and as the food is cooked the enzymes die off they're really sensitive to temperature and longevity so from the time they're picked to the time we eat them they lose some of the enzymes this is why digestive enzymes are so important I mean why food enzymes are so important there's also digestive enzymes and I had a lot of questions about this people sent me messages last week so the reason why it's food enzymes and digestive enzymes but then we talk about all the enzymes digesting stuff is an actual digestive enzyme is something that the body produces on its own. So amylase um, is produced in our saliva and um, other places, but when it's made by my body, that amylase is a digestive enzyme. When we get it in a supplement, in a food that, which is what we're talking about with our enzymes, it then becomes a food enzyme. Does that make sense? So your body is going to make it. So your body, your pancreas makes a bunch of enzymes. They're called pancreatic enzymes. And when we get it from our pancreas, it is a digestive enzyme. When we get it from a supplement, the pancretin, which is in this particular enzyme we're going to talk about today, it is a supplement. So it is a food enzyme. So although they work in the same manner, one is made by my body and one comes um, from external source. It's something that you consume. So we're going to break specifically into um, our essential sign for now. And before I go to the ingredients, I want to talk about the delivery. So this amazing enzyme in these time released capsules, um, the reason why it's so important and amazing that Gary even did this for us is different enzymes break down different types of food in different environments. So like um, we have the three of the ingredients that are in this enzyme, protease 4.5, protease 6, and protease 3. That 4.5, 6, and 3, the only difference between them is pH. It's saying that this protease, which is a um, protolytic enzyme that break down proteins, they do it in different um, uh, pH levels. So because of that, some stuff would digest better in your stomach, some stuff's going to digest better in your small intestines, some stuff's going to digest, break down better in your colon. And by separating the enzymes into do two different dual release, so one releases in the stomach right away, the other one releases later, it goes through the digestive system until it gets into the colon, and then it breaks down, and you get the second layer of enzymes, second layer of essential oils. This is powerful. It means that we're digesting more efficiently. We're pulling more nutrients out of the food that you're already consuming. It is, it is powerhouse. So again, in the yellow capsule, the yellow capsule is your immediate release. Um, this blend has got that protease in there, protease 4.5, 6, 
six and three and they break down um, proteins into small amino acids and then the amino acids are able to go in and fuel all the different things they support your immune function they promote your cardiovascular health your breathing they accelerate normal tissue repair that is so huge and important understanding all the different things that amino acids do and we know that because we're constantly told make sure you're prioritizing your protein make sure you get enough protein but if that protein goes in and it stays in its full form so you have got a grass-fed steak good stuff cooked perfectly if it just goes through your um, stomach and small intestines and large intestines and goes right out into your stool you have really expensive stool the idea of an enzyme is it separates all of those molecules it pulls the fatty acids out of that that beef that you're eating it it breaks apart all of the bonds between all of those different proteins so they become individual amino acids that can now go and build you that's what enzymes do they build and repair and love on you. The next one in that capsule is amylase. Now amylase is one that breaks down starch. We just talked about amylase made by your body starts in your saliva, right? It is also in lots of the foods that we eat. Um, pretty much any high carb food comes with a lot of amylase. Things like sweet potatoes, pa potatoes, barley, all the different greens, rice, tomatoes, all of those are going to have some amylase in them. In the body, it's sal salivary glands and your pancreas and they do they help to break down those carbs into all the different pieces so we can get the energy out of those foods we can also get the vitamins the minerals the nutrients that are locked up in those bonds so that we can get all that great digestion and absorption and parts and pieces so we can feel that energy right then this one also has cellulase now we talked about this one last week as well cellulase are enzymes that break down the cellulose or the plant matter all of the fiber that you know all those great greens that we eat and or you, you eat corn and the corn comes out whole it's because there's fibers and cellulose in there that your body didn't break down our body doesn't even have a digestive cellulase to break down stuff well this has cellulase in it to help break down that plant matter so we can un unlock some but it also makes it in small enough particles where all of that good gut bacteria that you have can feed on the fiber the cellulose cellulose can feed on it and ferment and in the fermentation process it creates other things it goes in and it does lots of restorative stuff so it's just making the plants that you eat even more bioavailable and usable by your body another thing that fiber does is fiber sucks onto not a good word fiber holds onto toxins and chemicals and another organism that the body wants to get rid of it will absorb them in so then it comes out in your bowel so it removes so it's a part of that detoxification um, that we're always talking about how important that is for your gut as a matter of fact a lot of the um, Yahoo and excitement that we get from fiber when people talk about fiber helping with things like um, healthy cholesterol or fiber helping with those triglycerides that type of thing it's because the fiber is able to hold on to and remove some of that that's why you see some difference um, happening and and why prebiotics and probiotics are so important because they they partner with that fermentation process another um, enzyme that is in there is lipase lipase is the enzyme the body uses to break down the fat that we consume everything in the intestines all of that stuff that we eat and it can break it down now lipase is also produced by the body it's produced in the pancreas the mouth the stomach because our body really needs to break down those fats your brain loves those fatty acids like it thrives on fatty acids your heart loves those fatty acids every joint in your body responds well to those good healthy fats that's why you hear people talking about you know upping your fat eating good healthy fat and how it helps us feel stay full for a longer period of time because those fatty acids those keep you full and satisfied your body absolutely loves them really important and that lipase breaks it down so we unlock all of that good stuff the next one is peptidase peptidase is also a digestive enzyme and what it does is that um is created in the stomach and the small intestines and the pancreas and it's a protolytic enzyme it breaks down all of those protein bonds um one of the special things about peptidase is it takes um amino acids that are bound by more than one um chain it separates them into singles but it also helps to reorient them into other molecules 
so it separates and then it puts them together it's like Legos it's pulling them apart and putting them together like a little toddler that knows what he's doing it recreates those bonds super important that's a part of there we have the phytase in there remember what I'm always talking about soaking your nuts and soaking your beans because of the phytaic acid that's on there what happens with phytase is that breaks that down so that we don't have that irritation from those types of food we're able to unlock all of the nutrients, uh, things like phosphorus and iron and, and um, zinc and, and different minerals are all locked up inside that phytic acid. And because phytase just dissolves it away, it digests it, then all of that is free so we can get those nutrients in our body. So when we say eat almonds, eat a little handful of almonds and how good it is for your brain or or somebody tells you, oh my gosh, you gotta eat your um, pistachios. Pistachios are amazing for um, guys, penis erections, all the things is one of those, but it only happens if you can actually digest all the parts and pieces that are in things, um, so that you can get those absorption out of them. And it helps to release all of those nutrients into your cells. So you feel more energy. So important. And that is that's your phytase that's in there. Then we have bromelain. Now bromelain is one of those food enzymes. It actually comes from pineapple. It comes from inside. It comes from the skin. It comes from the stem, all the different parts. And it's another protolytic enzyme and it helps with digestion, everything in the gut. It's so balancing for the gut itself. It also is really good for occasional loose stools or, or, um, if you have, uh, Hmm, let's rephrase that. So it also helps to balance the inflammatory response in your body. Bromelain is amazing. You can do some research on that one. We also have another food enzyme in there called papain. And this is a lovely little gem that comes from papaya. And it is a protease enzyme again. So it's going to help with proteins, helps to break them down, bloating, constipation, gas, those occasional things that happen. It helps to bring balance back to that. It helps with that normal inflammatory response throughout the body, not just in the gut. It's awesome. This capsule also has oodles of essential oils. So it's got anise essential oil. We talked about this one last week and this is from the same family as cumin. So same family as celery and carrots and parsley and it is known as the tummy tamer. It is very soothing for anything occasionally with your gut that comes and goes. You can do just a cup of anise tea in that heat and breathing it in. Great for, your, for that little tummy. It's also great if that's steam when you're breathing it in. It's going to help you to be able to breathe better. Great for the um, Oh my goodness, stomach, small intestines, large intestines. It encourages proper bowel movements in that north, normal, healthy hydrochloric acid we're supposed to have in the stomach. All of that, it is powerful. That is in our anise oil. Then we have ginger, ginger essential oil. This is known as the oil of empowerment. It is warm, it is spicy, it is delicious. It enhances all the food that you put it with. It can be in a tea. You can take it as a ground powder if you want a ginger as a powder great for healthy digestion. It supports that upset tummy, the occasional nausea, even a little bit. If you feel vomity, you're like, oh, I just can't. And that happens sometimes you overeat or you ate something crazy. Ginger, get yourself a little ginger essential oil and put it in a cup of tea and just sip that, that warm water. It's going to help. It's just great. Um, it's even been shown to be able to support with healthy weight and appetite. It's wonderful for that occasional bloating, um, gassy feeling that you get. Then we have rosemary essential oil. Now we talk about so much with rosemary in cognitive health and memory and thought and focus and all of that. We also talk about it in our mermaid spray. It's one of the things I spray on my hair to help all that growth after everything that I went through. Um, that's all rosemary, but it's also amazing for relieving um, that occasional indigestion, gas, stomach cramping, bloating, constipation, all those different things. It can help regulate your appetite so that you don't feel like you need to eat when you're not actually hungry. Um, it helps in supporting the, the mm-hmm, it helps in supporting your gallbladder. It helps with the liver itself. It's just super important in digestion in general, and that's our rosemary. Then we've got tarragon. Tarragon is one of those oils that we really, it's not even mentioned most of the time in anything. It kind of smells like a licorice aroma, but it is wonderful with antioxidants and digestive support, and all of the cleansing that it goes in. It helps to relieve cramps. Even a great one to rub if you've got the hiccups, 
that's one that you can rub on that because it's so good for that it's just a great one it's in the sunflower family it's an amazing oil that we just don't give it enough credit and then we've got fennel you guys know I love fennel I talk about it all the time the fennel plant itself you can eat the whole thing like roots leaves um, the flower the plant the pollen stock all the things you can eat the whole thing but in our essential oil it is just the seed that we are using in a steam distilled and it's all those concentrated nutrients that we're getting in those essential oils Oils. and internally like in our detoxine um, it helps to support digestion it helps all those detox pathways that we're always talking about it helps with those bowel movements it helps with your microbiome thriving and feeling good you can drink it you know straight in the tea and the upset belly it's another one you can just sip on you can do your thing I am a huge fan of fennel I use it all the time it's one that um, I typically use as I'm getting dressed and ready for any classes or anything like that because it helps me to speak my truth I can only teach my truth right as me who I am and fennel helps with that it helps you to remember who that is this is it's on the emotional side of it I know we went off the thing but um it's it's amazing and now we have a whole nother so that is the first capsule right that's the one that's going to break down in your stomach there's a whole nother pill. It is almost like you are getting a two for one, buy one, get one free type thing. And it's a perfect example of location, location, location. That slow release capsule on the animal based enzymes, it doesn't break down until you get to the large intestines. So all of the digestive enzymes that have been kicking out, they're kicking out through the stomach, they're kicking out through the small intestines, the pancreas, it's all happening up here, up high. This this particular capsule isn't going to break down until it gets into the large intestines where most of the absorption has already taken place. So this is giving us one more shot at it. Your large intestine has three primary functions. It's going to absorb all the excess water. It's going to absorb electrolytes and minerals out of the food. And it's going to produce and absorb vitamins. Now, this boggles my mind. I don't know about you, but I was way too old before I realized that your gut, your bowels, make and create some of the vitamins that we need. Like if you're running low on B vitamins or you need vitamin K, if you need biotin, the bacteria in your colon, trillions of bacteria in your colon, are designed and created to produce those extra vitamins. Whew, mind blown. I, did, I didn't know that. I didn't know that was part of what happens. I thought vitamins had to come from the foods that we consume, but they're not. They can be created. <laughs> Big truck to survive. Sorry about that. They can be created in your colon and then absorbed right out with that water and those minerals so that we can take into the bloodstream and build who? to build you, to give you the things that you need. So this is that, that power, those trillions of bacteria in there. This is why we have to make sure we're feeding them. This is why we need to make sure we're giving our body those prebiotics and those probiotics and, and all that good stuff. So my um, microflora, my gut, has what it needs to provide what I need on a daily basis. Like, I don't know when I need more vitamin K, but my colon does. It's, it's designed and created to make that. So this particular capsule, the little white one, is going to break down and digest in that area and it is filled with some amazing things. One of those being bee pollen. Bee pollen is um, considered so beneficial that the German Federal Board of Health recognizes it as a medicine that is that is crazy to me. Now, here in the United States, bee pollen is just this amazing stuff that sticks to bees when they're out collecting all of the pollen, and then they take it back and it's used as a food, as a fuel for all the little baby bees. That's what it's designed for. But that bee pollen contains over 250 biologically active substances, including proteins, carbs, lipids, fats, vitamins, minerals, and you guessed it, enzymes. It is a powerhouse. It is high in antioxidants. And it's antioxidants that are similar to fermented foods. It explains why this is in that second capsule to break down in the large intestines because it's a fermenting warehouse down there. It ferments all kinds of things. Um, bee pollen may enhance, may enhance and support your beautiful liver and in your detox pathways. In addition, it's been shown to support your normal healthy immune response. So how my body reacts to things, it just helps to support it so it stays nice and healthy. Then we've got that pancreatin that we talked 
talked about. Um, it's a blend of all the pancreatic enzymes that digest fats, proteins, and carbs. And what this does is it gives your um, your lower intestines a second chance, your colon a second chance to break down anything that got left undigested and pull the last bit of nutrients out of it. It is taking that last little bit of stuff, anything that bypassed the stomach and missed the small intestines, it's another round in the colon so that we can get those parts and pieces out. I wanna get the best bang for my buck. I wanna make sure I'm getting and unlocking all of it. There's also lipase that has been added to that. So uh, we've discussed that one in depth, but it's another chance to break down any excess fats that slipped through everything else so that it's not just going out in your stool. That's why we wanna add our enzymes so we're getting that bang for the buck. Now the oils that are in the capsule, so all the oils I already mentioned and what they do in the small intestine stuff area right we're getting all that good oils we get a second round of those so there's more ginger fennel tarragon anise but then they add in lemongrass so lemongrass is a stocky grass um, and it really truly smells like lemon like a really strong lemon but it is a very warm oil when it's ingested so if you were to put a drop of lemon in your mouth you're like mm, happy in a bottle if you put a drop of lemongrass in your mouth it gets it gets hot like if you put it on topically, it heats up. It feels amazing on tight back, on knees, on elbows, or anywhere that's tight. It will warm up. It's extremely comforting. Internally, it's amazing for your healthy gut flora, which is part of why it is added in this location. It is amazing. It works on your normal, healthy inflammatory response because we're supposed to have healthy, normal inflammation, right? It soothes the tummy. It relieves excess gas, bloating, any of that stuff that's left over in that fermentation process we're talking about. It's going to help with that. So that, my friend, is everything that comes in the essentials I'm for. This is one of those supplements that I carry with me all the time. They come I didn't bring the box in. Comes in a box. It's a long sleeve. It has uh, five or six on each side, yellow and white. And you're gonna take a yellow one and a white one every single time you eat. That's what I do. If I eat a meal, I take a sleeve of that. If um, I've got a little upset belly or I eat too much, or if I eat out, if I go out to eat, I always take extra enzymes. I, I don't know the food source when I'm out to eat. I don't worry about it. I don't worry about chemicals and toxins and stuff. I just use my do my own due diligence, right? So I make sure I throw enzymes in with that. So I take um, two of them when I do that. I just wanna make sure I get everything out of it, but I also want to know that any garbage that I eat when I'm out, if it's got any um, stuff I wouldn't usually choose, um, it will be able to break it down and encapsulate it, take it out. So like the fiber, the cellulase, it's going to go through and break down all of that stuff because not everything I eat when I'm out is organic and I want to make sure all of that stuff moves right out of me. Again, if I have any belly discomfort, I'll just take an extra one. I don't worry about it. They're all going to do their thing. All those extra essential oils are amazing for us. So that's everything for today. If you have any questions, if you want to grab some of the enzymes and you are not already a part of Young Living, get back with whoever sent you this video, whoever sent the link or if they just had it pasted on their page and like oh my gosh it was really good get back with them they're going to help you get all of the um, discounts that you can get so you get all of the good stuff if you found me on your own shoot me a message i can help you do the same thing next week we are talking about our essential zyme so today was essential zyme for next week is essential zyme you can catch detox zyme on the last one this saturday though i really want to invite you to this right here. This is um, your microbiome gut brain connection. And this is gonna be Saturday at 11. This is gonna take a lot of the digestive enzyme information and tie it together with our gut in general, how we cleanse the gut and what role that has in our brain. Like what is that gut brain connection? And what can we do to be able to, you know, turn all those lights back on? I'm just saying. All right, you guys, God bless. I hope you have an amazing day. And if you have questions, post them. I go through and answer every question, every comment. I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate you giving me the time to be able to speak into your lives. All right, guys, make sure you share the video. Tell other people. Bye.